Like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, or this will be in your bed tonight. What childish activity are you completely unashamed of doing? Running up the stairs on all 4s. I did this once at a friend's house, but failed to notice her dad laying on the hall floor spooning their dog in the dark. We both screamed when I grabbed his foot at high speed and the dog went mental. Then had to explain to everyone that I go upstairs on my hands and feet colon. My gf often sleeps shamelessly with her stuffed sheep from her childhood. She tells me because she needs to hold something while sleeping. Often when I leave for work she is still asleep. I kiss her goodbye and put sheep back into her arms if needed. Edit. Thank you all for your kind words and sharing your stories. Colon. It's named sheep. I love it. My panda is named panda. My other panda is also named panda. Turn off the hallway light and run up the stairs before the monsters get me. I don't do that anymore because the last time I did, I ran full tilt into the wall in the dark. Now I just walk quickly with my spine crawling. Going out of my way to crunch leaves on the ground when I'm out for a walk. I do this, as a bonus. I live in the Pacific NW, so there are many hugely satisfying dry pine cones to step on that give a nice big crunch. I'm in my 50s and still love making that sound happen. On occasion I will run outside and chase down the ice cream man. I am 51. TBH. That's just plain awesome. You friggin rock. When I see a swing somewhere I'm on it and just swing around for a couple of minutes. I outgrew swings at some point. Not mentally, but physically. I'm 6 feet 5 inches and 250 and broke the last swing I tried to swing on. I never broke the habit of carrying around tiny things in my pocket. A Lego person. Some random key. Or literally just a rock so that I can fidget with it when no one's looking. I once broke off a solid plastic pen cap during classes and I have those shards in my wallet ever since. It's fun to put it back together when I'm bored. Grisera cutting. That thing where you stand on the little bar of the cart. I work in a grocery store as the closing cashier. This is one of the best parts of the job. I get to Grisera cut every night that I work. Making sure not to step on any cracks in the path, otherwise I'll die. Anyone who says that they don't is a liar. Using children's playgrounds, they've had some innovation since I was a boy, I can tell you. My playground growing up was made of wood and sheet metal, now it's all plastic and safe, ha, huh, losers. Singing loud on top of my voice randomly when no one is around. I have no rhythm or melody. So it's basically just yelling the lyrics around. Are you a sim? I still refuse to leave my leg uncovered when I sleep. Everything needs to be under the duvet because that image of something grabbing my leg is still very vivid in my head. Every time I leave a leg uncovered my cat attacks it. And he's a brutal mother. I imagine sea of and fantasy characters and worlds full of adventures and wacky personality. I work on some for months or years and admittedly even act out some particularly exciting bits. There's a sub for that. R slash world building. Watching cartoons with a big bowl of cereal every Saturday morning. For me, it's a giant cup of dry Cheerios. I love to touch all of the things in the stores. We're adults now. I can look with my hands all I want. I'm 51 and I like to skip. It's such a fun way to travel. I also enjoy skipping. It's very efficient and good exercise. I can't wait to play the shit out of hide and seek when my kiddo gets older. As a teenager me and my friends would play hide and seek but with a twist. We would only play at night and the seeker would walk around with a ball and hit people he found. If you got hit you also became a seeker. 
At the end of games you would have search parties looking for one person with utter bloodlust. Lots of selling people out to the seeker in exchange for not getting hit. This might have an official name but we just call it hide and seek. Every time I walk through an automatic door, I make the Jedi hand gesture. Every. Single. Time. I'm always quietly happy when it syncs up perfectly. The best thing is when you do it in front of a little kid who's never seen that before and they look at you like you're an actual wizard. Bonus points if they then try and do it too. This is how I make cars stop while crossing the street. M32. I buy Hot Wheels all the time. And I'll be damned if I don't take them all out of their boxes and roll and spin them around my wife and I fly kites. Race RC cars. Snowball fights. We eat cereal for dinner quite often balance while walking on curbs. Hit check each other at the store. Pinch each other's butts. Hide and scare each other as often as we can. Foot race to the car. Ride shopping carts. We also like to take pictures in photo booths any chance we get. My desk at work is plastered in picture strips. I like you guys. Sleeping with a stuffed panda. It goes under my arm perfectly. I sleep with a Pikachu every night. Okay okay. Two Pikachu and one small Pikachu beside my pillow. My friends and I, 2030, find huge arenas in parks and stuff for nerf battles every week. It's amazing. You have 2030 friends? Slowly closing the fridge to see when the light goes off. Edit. Changed opening to closing. Sorry to everyone who thought I had a weird fridge. I assure you, my fridge is perfectly normal. I still haven't caught the fridge gremlins in the act. Going to a trampoline park. Doesn't hurt that I'm a 5 feet 1 woman who looks much younger than my 36. I go with my stepdaughter. Who is 15 and it's funny to see other adults who clearly want to join in on the fun but are too serious. Great workout too. I take my lil sis. Did my first front flip at 30. I. Am. Addicted. Dunking my cookies in milk. My man. I do the whole try and stop the microwave timer at 0 hundred hours. I actually got it a few times. I always go for one. I never even considered this. Once a week I meet up with a bunch of friends and pretend to be an elf who can do magic. And I fucking love it. And one of your friends plays God. I have a million stuffed animals. My boyfriend buys them for me and thinks it's cute. That's a lot of stuffed animals. I still play with Legos a lot. I don't care how inefficient it is to dump everything out and sift through it to find the black one x one I need. I smash up Lego models pretending there's some kind of adventure happening. Then I rebuild them carefully as if it's the aftermath. I'm cool. Eating chicken dinosaurs while watching cartoons. Sometimes being a dad is amazing. The dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets actually taste better than the regular ones. I think it's the ratio of chicken to breeding and spices. Plus. You get the extra fun of dipping them head first into ketchup blood. Living with my mom. I also like living with your mom. I still buy stuffed animals and name them really stupid fucking names. For example, a deformed alligator named Maw, a triceratops named Esmaw, a cardinal named Mac short for mac and cheese, etc. Edit. I love all of your replies. And I would like to show you more. Here he is. S8 Postim CC link. I love naming my stuffies. I have a Mr. Squishy, who is just a fluff ball. A monkey I call French Monkey. And I have a cheetah called Senna Meow Meow. It probably isn't childish. But I decided that I will buy me some Lego, after we sold all my kids Lego because they didn't play with it anymore. Sets and build it. I loved doing this when they were little. And it was super relaxing and fun. 
Maybe I can put it on my Christmas wish list, because as far as I know, these sets, Hogwarts Castle, Millennium Hawk, this kind of things, are pretty expensive. If we're gonna be honest what little kid can build a 6-7k piece set by themselves the Hogwarts castle and the falcon were definitely intended for adults to buy, edit, yes you have put together advanced lego sets when you were kids, lego intends the instructions to be simple and easy to understand, I remember having some rather big mega block sets I could never do because the pieces weren't very good and the instructions weren't clear at all, that's why lego is and will always be the best. Rocking from side to side when I'm feeling excited or happy about something. It's one of the several things my wife has been unable to cure me of, and she's given up. Why would anyone feel the need to cure you of this? I bounce when I am happy or excited. Watch cartoons, and drink chocolate milk. Chocolate milk is the nectar of the gods. Occasionally reading books meant for 5 year olds. How simple everything was back then. I still love to move my stuffed plushies around and use them to say cute things to my spouse. Edit. OMG all these sweet and wholesome replies made my day. My oldest kid is about to turn 16 and we still make the plush toys talk to each other almost every night. I am a woman in my mid 20s and I still have my Game Boy SP. I play it all the time everywhere. It's the perfect size to travel. The game cartridges are small and there's an amazing array of games you can still buy. I've even gotten my boyfriend into it and gave him my brother's old one he didn't want. We play Pokemon, Harvest Moon, Kirby etc. There are even some hacked versions of Pokemon that you can get from Etsy. I recommend Pokemon Snakewood, Karosu and C-A-W-P-S. I sprint through the house when the last light turns off. Coloring in a coloring book. Reacting excitedly to the music of the ice cream truck. Whenever I see a cute dog, I just get so happy and excited like a child. I will eat Lunchables, the cracker cheese and ham one for lunch along with chocolate milk sometimes even grab some candy i am 21 years old and find it to be a simple and fulfilling lunch lunchables pizza is my jam but i think i'd need three of them to approach fulfilling going to disneyland and goofing off with the staff may i add that i'm 35 and my gf is 28 with no kids we don't give a fuck we're going again in October. Went to Disney World a few years ago with my spouse. We don't have kids. We watched a show in front of Cinderella's castle that had Mickey Mouse and company chanting dreams come true to chase away the villains. I burst into tears. I'd been dreaming of going to Disney World forever. And there I was. I had on my mouse ears. A red balloon tied to my belt loop. And a stuffed Donald Duck in my arms. I bet the little kids there weren't having nearly as good a time as I was. I still love watching Power Rangers. I would sometimes act out fight scenes in front of the TV. If you ever see a grown man fighting there, that man is a pretend blue ranger. Sometimes I'll eat a heaping spoonful of peanut butter by itself. Blowing up balloons and making sure they never hit the ground. Playing Minecraft. Just because kids started playing it doesn't make it childish IMHO. Very few things are that relaxing. Playing The Sims. If I have a bad day at work or just feeling stressed out I'll log onto The Sims and just zone out of reality for a few hours. I'll get super into it for like a week or two then forget about it and not play it again for months lol. I go to the park and swing when I'm feeling stressed. On swings. Not with people. Outdoor activities. Snowball fights. Foot races. Building sand castles just to watch the waves destroy them. Stirring my ice cream. Jumping in puddles. 
It's just been a few months since I got married. I get my husband to tuck me in and cuddle me till I fall asleep. He's a late sleeper. I go to bed at least 2 hours before he does. I miss my dad and mom tucking me in as a kid. So now, I unshamedly get my darling husband to do it. And he does it so cheerfully. I love that guy. Running through the sprinklers in my yard especially on hot days. Sleeping with my stuffed animals. So cozy and would feel guilty anytime one fell off the bed. High-fiving all the mannequins in the store. I am nearly 40, a company director, with ambitions of being on a few boards. I love my whiskey and cigars and spend an inordinate amount of money on each. Have an 18 year old son, and have been with my wife for nearly 17 years yes I know the math doesn't line up, life happens, but I also play games 20 hours plus a week, I watch anime, I watch twitch even during office hours as background noise, particular old you slash sovi twimble, fuck anyone that makes you feel bad about doing what you enjoy, time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time, surround yourself with people that truly love and accept you for you without having to conform to some preconceived notion of how you should act or behave. You get one go at this life malarkey you might as well do what makes you happy. Eating Dino Nuggets Bounce houses are the best thing ever and I will enjoy them into my 80s. Thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe for more interviews.